Hello, everybody. Welcome to Choice, Change and Action podcast. You're with me, your host, Simone Melissas, and I am in Prague, Czech Republic. <gasps> I love this city so much. It's so beautiful. You know, for many, many, many years, I traveled around the world and I always loved going to places that were not a city because I was like, eh, cities. Prague is literally the first city I went to that I went, wow, I am in love with cities. And I started to see them in a different way. So my invitation to you is, what have you assumed that you don't like that maybe you do? I'd say, I love these old style cities too and all the cobblestone roads. And can I say the weather is beautiful? Last week it was one degree Celsius and I was like, please, no. So I prayed to the weather, weather gods, majors, everything, and it's warmer. So how does it get any better than this? My question to you is, what are you not asking for that you could be asking for? So I hope you enjoy this solo podcast. Uh, it's about some stuff that's shown up for me lately and I guess sharing the tools and some stories with you and join my telegram thread because there's going to be a surprise at the end. So simonemillisses.com forward slash telegram. Thanks for being here everybody. I'm really super grateful and I'm so grateful when I get your feedback as well. It's to me it's such a contribution that I can be that for you and then you can be that for me and man, that's the way the world goes around because just like nature we, are, we don't function alone. We're not alone. We are part of this big, beautiful ecosystem here on this amazing planet. So thank you. I'm really, really grateful and enjoy. Thank you for tuning into or watching the Choice, Change and Action podcast. My name is Simone Millicis and I am your host. Your choice creates your future. Every choice you make, action you take, you create a change for you and the world. Please enjoy this podcast. Don't take it too seriously. Don't take me too seriously. Don't trust me. Trust you. You are the one that knows what will work for you. And have way too much fun enjoying your choices. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I am in Prague in Czech Republic. And uh, wow. It's been a while since I've done a big trip overseas and I'm in Europe for two months. So a lot of the podcasts that I will be doing will be from Europe. Uh, and I've been looking at a few things. Last night I got here and, you know, being on Australian time zone, I went to sleep at 8.30 and woke up at midnight wide awake. So I was lying in bed and I was looking at a whole bunch of uh, things as I do, you know, asking questions and there's a tool that Gary Douglas has used for ages. Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness. And he said, years ago, he said, he even asked questions about chewing gum, right? It's like, you know, will this create something greater? Will this add to my life? And I've always gone, okay, I get it. He's asking questions about everything. And he really does. Like he doesn't go to conclusion. He's not looking for a result. He's not looking to get it right. He's actually asking for more consciousness in the world and what will create greater. And the gum story I've heard a billion times and I was like, uh-huh, yes. And last night I was just sitting on the couch at this um, beautiful Airbnb and I wanted just to watch something that was really light and easy just so I could try and stay awake for a couple of hours and get onto the time zone here. And I started watching this uh, show called Rookie, American show, you know, and there's a policeman on there who he's 40 and he's a rookie, right? And there's this story on there and the sergeant says to him, you know, blah, 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 a whole lot of stuff, but this is the piece. He says, just know, he said, I am going to do anything I can to embarrass you, to humiliate you, uh, to pull you up, et cetera. And he said, because this is my, like, this is my life. This is my calling. I'm called to be a cop, okay? And the guy who plays the rookie part, who's a 40-year-old, because the whole idea is he's too old to be a rookie, okay, too set in his ways. And he's like, I don't want a guy coming along here just in middle life crisis, blah, blah, blah. So, and he says, well, what if this is my calling too? And the sergeant says, then you won't care. And I sat with that and I went, God, that is so cool. Because if it's his calling to be a cop, he will not care who humiliates him, who you know, pulls him up or embarrasses him or anything because you would never be embarrassed for what you're actually choosing when it's your calling. And 
of looking at, there's a conversation that um, Dane here, the co-creator of Access Consciousness, talks about um, many, many, many years ago when something occurred and he he realized that he was not as dedicated and committed to consciousness as what Gary Douglas was. And at that moment he said, I mean, I'm, I can, you know, the world can count on me sort of thing. And he often refers to, you know, I, you know, being consciousness is bitch, which I like that. <laughs> and I've been looking at this recently as well. And every choice I'm looking at is what will create greater. Like even from the smallest of things, um, for example, I spoke to my friend Sarah this morning and my next trip from Prague is going to Budapest, uh, Hungary, and I'm facilitating a business done different class there. And we were flying, right? And it's two flights and blah, blah, blah. And I found out yesterday it's a five hour drive from here. And I went five hour drive. That sounds like fun. And so I toyed with it, played with it and went, well, what if we cancel our flights? And there's a few different options. We could get a chauffeur driven car, we could get a train, we could drive. And I said to Sarah, which one is lighter in your world? And that's a really great, great question to ask is which one is lighter in your world? And for me, when you have that like question behind it, for me, it's what will create greater. And I am demanding more and more and more that I will choose whatever it takes to have more consciousness on this planet for people to commit to themselves and realize that every single choice that they make and every action they take can create a different future. Every single one of us. So, and, you know, facilitating access consciousness is so awesome. I am so grateful and so honored and to see people change in class and to, you know, find a tool that they can use. And it might be a really simple question and it starts to change their life, not just one area of their life, many areas of their life. So I said to Sarah, what would, you know, what's lighter in your world? And what we got to was pretty quickly. And I knew what was lighter in mine was let's drive. Like, let's have an adventure. Let's, as I called it, let's go rogue and have an adventure and drive to Budapest. I've driven around Europe a lot, um, many, many, many years ago. And I was like 19, 20, 21. Sarah's never driven around Europe. And it was like, let's do it. Like, sounds like fun. So what I'm trying to suggest to you, if you choose, is what if every choice you made, you asked a question of, will this create something greater? But what I want you to also look at is what are you committed to? What if you could start to commit to you? Just even that, okay? Commit to you. In the process for myself of committing to consciousness, I am committing to me. I have to commit to me to commit to consciousness is what I'm realizing because then any choice I'm making, I'm not trying to do it from right or wrong or trying to find a conclusion or trying to be acknowledged for something validated, which so many people do. As I've mentioned before, I know most people try and choose something so that they will either be liked by others or be like others. What if that's not what you chose? What if it was you chose what works for you? You were committed to you, okay? So I am so committed to consciousness, you know, and consciousness, like, it's really interesting because that word has been around for a very long time and people tend to throw it around and then they think it's like, oh, consciousness is all godlike and everything is perfect and correct and there's rainbows and unicorns and, you know, I mustn't do this because that is bad, terrible and wrong and this part is right and good and perfect. No. It's not. Consciousness includes everything and judges nothing. So what if you never, ever judged your choice again, ever, ever again? So one of the things I've been looking at too is opening doors to possibilities. I am offering a uh, free class for you if you are on my Telegram thread, which it's in the show notes. You can um, click on there. Or you can just go to simonemillisses.com forward slash telegram. Click on that and you can join my telegram thread. And, you know, I put things in there every now and then. Um, of course, I advertise my classes, but I also just put little, I don't know, little notes, videos or questions or tools in there for you as well. The idea is you desire to be there, okay? You can sign up if you want and you can do this free class and you can leave. I don't have a point of view because I would just like you to have more of you. Okay, so I'm doing this free class in a couple of weeks and it's based on opening doors. Now, how this came up was, of course, I'm involved in many different projects and businesses and I love it, you know, 
just love uh, starting something and seeing where it lands. And no business is created that's perfect, okay? Not one business I know that is created and it's like, Wah! this project is off and running and it's wonderful and there's no hiccups, there's no hurdles. It doesn't work like that. Business has hurdles, but can you jump? You know, how high can you jump if you start looking at that? Okay, so I had this conversation with Gary because there is a business idea that I came up with with a friend of mine, and it's cards, right? It's a play, it's a it's an intimate play for lovers. So the idea is that there's cards and you pick them and you're playing with your lover and you have some fun and it's like and there's this these different things that you can you know it's like kissing your lover without you know without touching bodies just with your mouth or you know stroking your lover or you know all these different things that that we sort of came up with that we figured would be fun for people to play with right so a lot of people know me as the author of joy business the author of getting out of debt joyfully i also have written a third book with my ex relationship are you sure you want one Okay, so I do I do business classes, I do money classes, I do relationship classes, I facilitate a lot of the advanced classes of access consciousness, choice for possibilities, advanced body class, you know, many. But this is like another realm, okay? And for me, you know, I've had so many different scenarios with my body and sex and with different partners, etc. And I would really like people to enjoy it and to enjoy their body and to not judge what they're choosing. There is no wrong choice. There is no right choice. And even if you're not choosing to have sex, that's not wrong either, okay? But there's a lot of people out there who would like to maybe play more. So the idea of these cards is, is that, that you can play more, okay? So I woke up one day and I was like, mm, okay, this is going to be different getting this out there into the world. And it's almost done. Maybe by this podcast, um, the cards will be available. So I rang Gary and I said, hey, can you help me? Can you ask me a question? Is this okay for me to do this? And he said, yeah. He said, he said I think they're great because I've shown him. And he said, just know you're opening another door. I went, oh, that was that like, er, like that tweak in my world, in my body, where I was like, what is this? I'm opening another door. And all day I sat with that and I went, okay, I'm opening another door. Is this a door I'd like to open? I was like, fuck yeah, this is great. Okay, I'm opening another door. Am I prepared for everything? Am I prepared for judgment, vilification, um, uh, gratitude, uh, you know, lust, like all of this and more. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm learning to not have a point of view about what anybody else's point of view is because there's always going to be people out there who are trolling, hating, vilifying, etc. But how many doors are you not opening because you have no idea what this is going to look like? So how many, you know, projects, uh, conversations are you not choosing and you're not opening that door based on, again, you have no idea what this is going to look like? Well, breaking news, you have no idea what today is going to look like. You think you know what it's going to be, but how many times do you go to bed at night and go, mm-hmm, my day turned out exactly as I thought it would? It doesn't work like that. You know, life and living is this like glorious, glorious adventure. So what if we enjoyed it and what if we opened more doors? So this whole concept that I want to do is because I started looking at this, I question my life all the time. And there's, you know, something I came up with in 2020 was to, to look at these different topics and sort of, I guess, separate them in a way because so many people galump them together. Do you like that word, galump? You just like, boop, you put business and money, boom, in one, in one section. Oh, relationships and sex in one section. You know, you put all of these into galumping them into something rather than let's look at this. What would I like in business? What would I like to create with money? Choose with money. What action can I take? What would I like with my relationships? What would I like with sex? What would I like with my body? What would I like with, you know, the earth is something that I've added. And what else would I like? Like what else is possible? You know, I added this um, more, this list, right? So recently I actively, I did a getting out of debt joyfully class that I facilitate based on my book, based on access consciousness tools. 
And there's some really cool pragmatic tools in that. And I hadn't done it for years. So I went, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to actively do this. So I took my computer outside and spent three hours with a profit and loss statement. I worked out how much it cost to run my life. And it just had this really cool sense that I was becoming more aware of me, more aware of my choices, more aware of every action I take and what that generates. So I would actively like to do this again and look at every area of my life and what it is I'm asking for, what it is that I would like to choose and what action I can take. So I would like to offer it to all of you. Again, if you're on my Telegram thread, simoemillisses.com forward slash Telegram, it's going to be a gift for you. I'm going to do it live at the castle. What's the castle? That is a castle that I am part owner of in Casa Borgoni. It's about an hour and a half outside of Milan, 30 minutes from Turin, and it's absolutely stunning. We will put the link in the show notes below. You can go stay there. It's this beautiful boutique castle. There's like 14 rooms that you can stay in, this magnificent ballroom. It's incredible. So I'm going to do it live from there, but it's my gift to you. And I would like to see what other doors that we can open because that just blew me away that I would maybe not choose something based on it was different, based on it was not how people have perceived me. Well, what if I was unpredictable? You could never put me into a box. Oh, yeah, you can't. It's like there's no like contextual construct, re construct reality of who I be because I can change every single day. And to be committed to changing every single day, for me, I get that you have to be proud of what you choose, not about getting it right. I have stumbled and fallen a lot of times, okay? But again, what are you going to choose? What are you going to choose when you stumble and fall? Are you going to get back up? You know, as I said, you can jump high, okay? Let's jump over those hurdles and let's go. So I'd love to invite you to that. And even if you come, great. If you don't, maybe if you just ask the question today, it's like, what, what hurdles can you jump over today? What doors can you open today? And have fun with it. Like really have, have, a, have a joy with it because life should be joyful, okay? So, and I wanted to read you this excerpt. And um, this is from a book called Right Riches for You by Gary Douglas, okay? So, and it's about being proud. So for those of you who have the book, it's on page 67 on Right Riches for You. And you can get this book on Amazon, accessconsciousness.com, you know, all your favorite book places. And it says, be proud. People often believe that nothing they do has an effect on the world. If you have that point of view, you won't be able to change your financial situation or your life. You are refusing to be proud of everything you are, everything you do, and everything you have. And if you have no pride in what you are, then nothing you have or do is of any value. If you do artwork, you are not proud of your work. You will diminish it and put it in the closet. You won't show other people what you have done, but you can't possibly be a success if you never let anyone see your art. You have to be willing to let people see what you've done and let them have their own point of view about it. You have to have pride in what you do. If you don't, you'll never succeed at it. You'll diminish what you're doing and make it worth nothing. It's not that pride goeth before a fall. It's that without pride, you can't fall, but you also can't get anywhere. I so love that. And the piece that I really like here too is the not like and um, you have to be willing to let people see what you've done and let them have their own point of view about it because it's not about trying to find people to align and agree with you. Trust me, it's not. But you have to be okay with what you're choosing. Be proud of what you're choosing each and every single day. Don't try and be competitive with others because that's absolute bullshit. You can't compete with anyone, okay? You can outcreate yourself every day. You can observe and see what people are choosing and be like, oh, that looks good. I'll have some of that. What would it take for me to outcreate that and outcreate myself today? So when you look at the outcreate, it's about being greater every single day, being better every single day. Your choices, like if you chose something yesterday and you got all angry and frustrated and upset, don't judge it. Okay, you chose that in that moment. Now you can choose something different. But you also have to allow everybody else to have their own point of view. OK, 
okay? And that is called being in allowance. So come join me for this call. And also the other thing is when these cards come out, these intimate play for lovers, please buy a pack, have fun. It's like have fun with your lover. Um, If you don't have a lover, find one, you know, ask for one to show up. And it's like, or you can just even indulge in reading these cards and playing with these cards and maybe having more fun with your body. So that's a door that I'm opening. It's a door that I am really enthused about opening as well because I think people should have way more fun with their bodies. You know, well, maybe you are, but it's there's, there's just more, 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 more. What if we have not even closely come to discover what it is like to have these amazing, beautiful bodies on this phenomenal planet? What could you choose today that would allow you to discover more about you more about your body and more about the planet. What doors could you be opening? So thank you so much for joining me here and I will see you guys maybe somewhere in the world and um, have way too much fun, way too much fun. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll get all the show notes. You'll get everything that I've mentioned here, like some links to it, et cetera. And choose you, okay? Commit to you, choose you. What action can you take today? to just have that joy and that fun and that ah okay thanks everyone for being here bye bye well did you like this podcast love it hate it inspired by it can you do me a favor can you please write a comment share it like it if you are listening on spotify or apple could you tick a few stars for us leave a review it's all such a contribution and i am immensely grateful Follow us on Instagram at Choice Change in Action and drop into our DMs and let us know what you would like next. When you subscribe to the show notes, you will receive a brief summary and any questions or tools we used and links to anything we discussed during the show. It might make your life easier. What if we asked for that? A life of ease, joy and glory.